Like Goedemorgen iedereen, welkom op deze herdenking. Um, de rest van het verhaal ga ik in het Engels doen. Uh, er zijn veel Engelsen en Fransen aanwezig, dus ik hoop dat iedereen het in Engels uh, kan volgen. Uh, welkom everyone, especially uh, Mr. Bill Harvey. Uh, we are all present here to unveil. A black uh, for your father uh, who died the 1st of November right on this spot. On this day, 70 years ago, William Young Harvey landed with number 4 commando to liberate this town. He volunteered the commandos in 1940 and he was present at several big raids on the occupied coast of Normandy, Norway, France and then Holland Flushing. Around 6.30, their landing craft beached Angle Beach. Their first objective were some German pillboxes around here, Bellamy Park. Number three troop, with Harvey in it, reached Nieuwstraat, ready to cross Bellamy Park to the Burrstraat. William told his best friend, Alex McAuley, that he would go first because of his better weapon. The intelligence report reads that Gunnar Harvey was killed by enemy machine gun fire. By unveiling this plaque, his story and his highest sacrifice, his highest sacrifice will come alive in this street in Russia. So we can and may not forget what happened on that 1st of November 1944. Let William Young Harvey be a symbol for all his comrades and all the other soldiers who died with him and all the civilians who lost their lives for the freedom we know today. Now Mr. Patrick Churchill, number four commando, will say a few words. left now but I was given the honor today to speak to some of those that remember or the parents remember the time and the sacrifices put up with me therefore to me it's a great honor to spend this full time in reverence with you all of those wonderful people, wonderful civilians and soldiers and marines and sailors that gave their lives for freedom. Joachim has said a few words, very, very touching indeed. I cannot add to what he was saying. You already know that now. But it is, I can't say a pleasure. It is a pleasure to live, but to survive that that day, 70 years ago. Therefore, I am very much honoured to unveil a plaque 
to one of those brave, brave heroes already mentioned. He never gave a thought for his own self or life, but for the purpose of warning why he was there and for every other every other operation that he's been through. The commandos were a special unit, and they were all volunteers. And they knew what, or were prepared whatever might happen. And they prepared themselves for that moment. Trusted, of course, it wouldn't come, but suddenly it will, in the end, take their spirit away. And today I feel Bill Harvey, Harvey Pheasant is with us today, the spirit of that brave young man. Therefore, for me, it is the greatest honour that I can ever receive on this particular day. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now our Burgermaster and Mrs. Lemmers will say a few words. Thank you very much. What respect I have got for you because of I, you, your wife told me your age. And, um, and then I think 70 years ago, you was only 21. I don't say now what his age is now. Eh? <laughs> it's, it's clear. And uh, you was here. And now you're back 70 years later. And you told us all about what your feeling was on that moment. And your feeling about the father of Bill. And I can't do that in that way because it comes from your heart. And that's the best way to tell it. Thank you very much. Mr. Harvey, relevance of Mr. Harvey. Mr. Jochem Schmetz, thank you for <coughs> being so eager to organize this because of you sent the letter, you make it possible that we do it today. And Mr. Hans Koeman, because of when you sent me the letter, he came to my office and said, he has sent you a letter, so you can't forget it. <laughs> so I think that's the best combination that you can get. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we remember Ik denk ik zo te doen, of die moet het. Oh, nou, gaat goed. We hebben hier Vlissingen. Dat is altijd een probleem met die mobiliteit. Ja, dit is het moment met mijn Moet je mij verstaan? Oké. Ik zei, vandaag hebben we de warriors in Vlissingen. 70 jaar geleden. Vlissingen was een held op dit moment. Want op dit moment... There was only a little piece of Walcheren free, and the rest is all in war. On the 1st of November at 5.45, you told us that it is in the morning, the number four commando has landed in Vlissingen. And to make a long story short, after a lot of hours of fighting, they reached this location, Bellamy Park, Nielstraat. And the next step from this location is the boulevard. And to reach the boulevard, they have to cross the Bellamy Park. Mr. Harvey, your father, Gunnar William Harvey of the number four commander was killed in this action on the 1st of November 1944, just yes, 70 years ago, when liberated in Vlissingen. He is buried in Berg op Zoom. I live there, that's special to hear that. And on the British cemetery. We will all remember him. Every time again, you will be here and say, your father has done the most marvelous thing you can do. He gives his life for freedom. And we remember him on this location as one of our heroes. And I would kindly ask you, Mr. Bill Harvey, to unveil the plague just over there. But before that, I would like you to tell us what it is to be the son of that father. You would never know personally. But I think you, be you know him better than everybody here in this room. You tell me. Yeah? Okay? Perhaps it's wonderful to be here, especially with two of uh, Alec Macaulay's daughters. Uh, 
uh, Irene, Janet just standing behind me. Uh, but with all who took part in the action that day, if you look around you will see KOSB, King's Own Scottish Borderers, Royal Scots, representing uh, Royal Engineers, uh, and we even have a gunner from the Royal Artillery over there, which is quite nice. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's wonderful to be here. It is always wonderful to be here. So, uh, uh, Joachim uh, and his friend Ron took me in a tour around this area and showed me where they died. But uh, I can't thank you enough for this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we have to do something. We've got to mess the house in here. And the pace, mag, can I give it to you? Can I give it to you, Jochem? Now the unveiling of the plaque will take place. Uh, Mr. Harvey, Bill, uh, Irene, Jennifer, will you please join him? This is a very emotional moment. I will tell everybody in Dutch what the text uh, is. In the morgen van 1 november 1944 landt het vierde commando in Frissie. Hun opdracht is de stad te bevrijden. En gunner William Harvey uit Schotland is een van de commando's. Zijn sectie komt tot in Nieuwstraat. Alex Magoli, Willemus beste vriend, vriend, staat op het punt om de oversteek naar de Beurstraat te maken. En op dat moment opent hij vijandelijk vuur vanaf het Bellamy Park. En William sneuvelt juist op deze plek. En de mooie tekst van St. John 15, 13. Greater love has no man, no man that wit that he laid down his life for his friends. I think very much your father. Thank you very much for doing this. Jack Hall will read, uh, say up the exhortation for us. After that, uh, the last post is played, 